Many of these people, and I'm not making an excuse for the gangsters, I see that the only way to achieve anything successful in life is to join go on the wrong side of the law because the entire structure is, is against them. And in many ways, we look at the police institution as the police forces we have today, that the force itself, even for those who move into the force, with that commitment, and I have no doubt, to be law enforcers and professional lawmen, find that the structure of the force does not lend itself to the development that you want and to provide the kind of service you want. And I say that without apology. And while we get training sessions that these are valuable, I think we have to look deeper in what we want to build. And when we begin to look at not renewal, but transformation, I want your ideas and yours. Because what I've seen happening in the police force is that there are many reports, there are many comments, but I don't find them seeking to sell. I seek to trying to correct something that I think can be corrected. Politicians of integrity need to stand up against politicians who are corrupt. Public officials, particularly permanent secretaries and technical directors of integrity, need to stand up to their ministers. They need to stop saying, yes, minister, when it should be no minister. It cannot be done that way. Pastors and clergymen need to come forward as they now are in the Jamaica umbrella group of churches to stand up for what is ethical and to bring forward their colleagues who would turn a blind eye and sometimes themselves are engaged in what is wrong. Businessmen of integrity need to call out their colleagues who seek favors and seek improperly awarded contracts in return for political contribution. Professional association of real estate brokers, accountants, bankers, lawyers, contractors, they need to debar and cast aside their colleagues who breach professional codes and ethics. And you investigators in the police force, you need to blow the whistle on those amongst you, minority as they are, who are corrupt and sometimes facilitate the nefarious activities of criminals and gangsters. The lessons of the current moment in governance in countries around the world is clear. Where political will is fractured, contaminated or weak, it is the professional will, the integrity, particularly of justice sector officials. When we hold ourselves to a higher standard and a higher level of accountability, all of these, this public trust and support will go up. When we regulate ourselves properly, the question of other people regulating us goes away. When the police force is right, everybody else has to fly right.